Hi guys, it is January 20, 2015, and if you hear any background noises, I apologize, but I can't do anything about it. It's just trucks outside. I want to thank Kevin for sending me this article, and it, this is very upsetting. What is really upsetting is that people are being murdered by our criminal government today, and Americans are asleep at the wheel. And if they're not asleep at the wheel, then they just don't care. They don't care. That's what really pisses me off. So many Americans just don't care. This guy, David Crawley, he was in the middle of making a movie called Gray State. He had received $30 million to make that to complete the project of his dreams. And in the middle of it, he decided to take his life along with his wife and five-year-old child. Yes, the police are calling it a murder-suicide. How many people are dying in this country? And everything is called a murder-suicide case closed. That's it. David Crowley looks quite healthy, very fit, in the middle of completing, completing the project of his dreams, kills himself and his wife and child. Now, let me just be accurate here. The police have not said that it is he that actually killed his wife and child and then took his own life. But that's something that you could presume by all of the articles, the mainstream articles that are written about this. Daily Mail, Gun Enthusiast. That's how they start the title of this article. Gun Enthusiast. Daily Mail. Mainstream media is so unbelievably disgusting, it, 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 it's repulsive. Read the article. Nowhere in the article does it mention that he was in the middle of making Gray State about the encroaching police state, and FEMA camps in America. Nowhere in this article do you see it. But what you read is that, oh, he posted pictures of himself holding weapons and wearing a hunting attire, and wearing hunting attire, insinuating that he was a nut job gun enthusiast who took his life and his wife and child. Another article, and I've read about five now, because I just wanted to see how mainstream media was portraying this. In this article, they do mention that he was actually in, in the process of making the movie, but they also say that, well, his next door neighbor said Crowley's, Crowley changed his appearance last fall. He cut his hair short. Wow. Oh my God. Anybody who cuts their hair short, you should be afraid of them. He started wearing fatigues and cut his hair short. And in other articles, and you can and you can just Google David Crawley murder suicide, and you will see mainstream media putting up pictures of him holding guns. He was a veteran. Do you think that's all he was? No. At least one article actually says that he played with his child outside on the front lawn. They're subtly insinuating that he was going crazy. So he took his life, and he took his, the life of his wife and child, and it's bullshit. He was murdered. He was murdered. This is happening left and right in this country, and we still have Americans who are just going about their business not giving a shit. What the hell do we have to do here to wake up Americans? You know, what's upsetting to me is that those who are still demanding, demanding that they stay comfortable, demanding the right to be willfully ignorant, refusing to have adult conversation, refusing to grow up, and those who just don't care are affecting all of our realities. So they sit there and they listen to the lies of mainstream media. They don't give a shit that people are losing their lives and it affects us all. And that's what really pisses me off because I don't want to be living in a police state. 
but that's what we are living in today. And I always now have to correct people when they say that we're becoming a fascist state. We're becoming a tyranny. We're becoming a police state. No, it's here. We're living it. We're living it. And people are losing their lives. So for those Americans who think that life is precious and they don't give a shit that this guy has been murdered. Well, what can I say? There are too many Americans who are just full of shit. Living a lie. A pretense. That they care about so much and they don't. And that's what really gets me. It is so outrageous that we're living this. And it's so bold. And it's so in our face. And we have journalists being murdered. And then no questions asked. Oh, Breitbart had a heart attack. And, God, why do I always forget the Rolling Stone journalist's name? Yeah, his Mercedes Benz. It, well, he just crashed into a tree, and voila, he's dead. No, these people are being murdered. They're being taken out. Because they had information that the government did not want out. So what our criminal government now is doing is killing people, and it is so obvious and Americans are just walking around like, la-di-da, la-di-da, you're crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist, everything's fine, everything's wonderful, because it's fine, and they're still comfortable in their own sweet little selfish life, and they don't give a shit about anything else. And they need to be confronted. They need to be confronted now. They needed to be confronted yesterday. They need to wake up and face the reality. Because the only way that we can pull this back is if more people wake up and start acting like adults. Get out of their, pull them out of their comfort zone. This is not okay with me. It shouldn't be okay with anybody. My God. All you have to do is think about the next, the, 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 the generations that are younger. What are we leaving them? Why are we just sitting back doing nothing? This is not okay. This is Nazi Germany on steroids because of the technology that we have today. But my, yeah, he's dead. This guy is dead. It should upset everybody. And no, I'm sorry, you cannot tell me that he just decided to off himself and his family. He was murdered. He was murdered like so many others. We're losing all of our rights. And we have so many Americans who just, oh my God, it just makes me sick.